This is Module 1, Lesson 8. Today's objective was to demonstrate the commutativity of multiplication and practice related facts by skip counting objects in array models. Number 1. Draw an array that shows 6 rows of 3. So I need to make 6 rows with 3 in each row. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's two rows. Third row of three. Fourth row of three. Fifth row of three. And sixth row of three. I'm going to go back and count those rows of three. Three. Six. Nine. 12, 15, 18. Number two, draw an array that shows three rows of six. So now you draw an array that has three rows with six in each row. After you draw the array, label your rows. Number three, Write a multiplication expression for the arrays in problems one and two. Let the first factor in each expression represent the number of rows. Use the commutative property to make sure the equation below is true. So in problem one, I had six rows. In each row, I had three. You solved problem two by drawing an array and labeling the amount in each row. Use that information to help you fill in the blanks. Then check that it's true by counting the total number of dots. Number four, write a multiplication of sentence for each expression. You might skip count to find the totals. The first one is done for you. I see letter A has five threes. Five threes is also five times three. Counting by fives three times, five, 10, 15. So five times three equals 15. Letter B, five, I'm sorry, three fives. So I have three groups of five, three times five. I can use letter A because I did the commutative property to know three times five is 15. Letter C, six threes. That tells me I have six groups of three or six times three. To help me, I'm gonna count by threes six times. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Letter D, I have three sixes. So I'm using the commutative property to write three times six. Looking back at letter C, I know six times three is 18. So if I know the commutative property, that I can switch the order of the, the factors and get the same product, I know three times six is also 18. Try the rest of number four on your own. Number five, find the unknowns to make the equations true. Then draw a line to match related facts. Letter A. I have a repeated addition problem. I see I have one, two, three, four, five, six threes. Counting by threes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. When I started this problem, I noticed that I had six threes. On the opposite side, letter E, also has six threes, which is 18. So I'm going to draw a line to connect the two 
because they are related facts. Letter C, I'm skipping B, you can do that one on your own. Letter C says eight threes. So that's a, another way of saying eight times three. Plus one three, or one times three. One three is the same as three. Eight threes, I can count by threes eight times. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. That's twenty-four. My last step will be to add the two together. Twenty-four plus three gives me twenty-seven. If you have trouble counting by threes, draw an array or equal groups to help you find the answer. Finish the rest of number five by filling in the blanks and drawing lines to connect the related facts.